About five seconds into the fight, Cenarius casts Forces of Nightmare, which spawns three saplings around the room. If a majority of the group stands near one of these, it has one of Cenarius's adds help the group while the group has to kill the other corrupted adds. It also spawns a pool of cleansed ground underneath it that lets you clear stacks of Creeping Nightmare. This is a stacking debuff throughout the fight that deals damage to you the higher it is. Clear your stacks at around 25 to 30, but be aware that every time you run through the cleansed ground, the pool gets smaller. Also, another thing to look out for is Nightmare Bramble, which will fixate a random player and leave pine Bramble patches on the ground. The bramble should be kited away from the raid and no one should stand in the bramble patches left behind. At the start of the fight, stand near the wisp sapling, which is to the left of Cenarius looking at him. Once the adds spawn, Cenarius buffs himself and any enemy within 20 yards, which reflects 50% of all damage that the enemy takes back at the user, essentially forcing you to kill the adds during that phase. Or you could easily kill yourself. Tanks should group these adds more than 20 yards from Cenarius. On heroic, this is 30 yards. The wisps will spawn small pools of cleansed ground, allowing the raid to clear their stacks of creeping nightmare easier. Kill the corrupted dragon that spawns first. Tanks face him away from the raid, then kill the nightmare ancient. Stand within 8 yards of the ancient to mitigate the damage of desiccating stomp. When the next forces of nightmare happens, stand on the wisp sapling again, which was around the same area. Kill the twisted sister that spawns. She affects 3 targets with scorn touch, which slows the target by 30% and they explode after 12 seconds, so get away from everyone. On heroic, this is 60% and you explode after 8 seconds. Then kill the dragon. Next, head towards the dryad sapling, which is towards the back right facing scenarius. The redeemed sister buffs random players with unbound touch, which allows them to clear bramble patches if they run through them. Kill the Twisted Sister, then the Ancient. Next, head to the Corrupted Emerald Egg, which is towards the back left of the room looking at Cenarius. An Emerald Dragon will spawn that buffs the tank's health and healing received. Kill the Wisps that spawn, they fixate random players, and if they reach you, it deals AoE damage. Then kill the Corrupted Dragon. Lastly, head to the Dryad Sapling again, which is near where it was before. Focus one Ancient that spawns, then kill the other. At 35% health, Cenarius goes into Phase 2. Use Hero or Bloodlust here during this phase. Make sure all adds are killed before pushing this phase. No more adds will spawn, but bramble patches still happen. Cenarius targets the tank with Spear of Nightmares, which does heavy damage. A pool of nightmares appears under the tank's feet, which no one should stand on. The size of this pool depends on how much damage the tank took from the spear. Tanks and healers should coordinate damage reduction cooldown so this pool isn't so big. Malfurion will occasionally be entrapped in roots. Get him out. He will then spawn a cleansed ground, allowing the raid to reset stacks of Gripping Nightmares. With all the damage going out, this should be reset at 15 to 20 stacks.